y'all this like past month has been insane when i tell you like i've been sick like crazy i've been suffering with toothaches i thought i needed a root canal i ended up getting my um my um wisdom tooth pull and that was like literally less than 24 hours ago so my mouth might look a little bit swollen and my speech might be slightly impaired so please forgive me y'all but um yeah i'm here for an update despite the craziness that i've been going through for this past month i really like <clears throat> once i was able to muscle up enough strength to get back in the gym like i made sure that i was working out and i was making better uh food choices and i i even did like a juice cleanse so excuse me y'all i did a three-day juice cleanse because i really wanted to cleanse out my gut um i really wanted to get rid of bacteria caused by unhealthy food that i was eating in the past and um, i firmly believe that when you eat certain things and it's stored in your gut your body tends to crave those unhealthy foods and i really 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 wanted to change my palate and i thought it was important that i start with a cleanse from my gut so that not only will I be able to crave healthier food options, but when I actually consume them, I can really get uh, get the most out of get the most nutritional benefit out of it. So that was that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess the best place to start would be a weigh-in. So January twenty fifth was my first day back in the gym after a very long time I was 211 starting weight and most people I feel like most people would be like oh my gosh are you like nervous about sharing your weight and it's like no I'm not because I know I came a really long way I've came a long way um my highest recorded weight was 251 pounds Keywords, recorded weight. That's like the key. Um, I firmly believe that at one point I was like 270 something, like 270 something. And um, it wasn't until I was working out and I felt it in my body that I actually lost weight that I felt comfortable enough to step on, a, on the scale and face that number. Um, so now after losing, you know, so much weight, it's kind of like you can't like... Ain't no number gonna scam me because at the end of the day, I know I came a long way. Um, so yeah, so I was 211 then. That was weighed in at January 25th. And as of two days ago, I was weighing in at 206. So that's a five pound weight loss within a couple of weeks. And to that, I say, good job, high five Ash. You know, like you did that girl. Um, losing weight is not the issue. That's not gonna be like the biggest struggle of them all because I can easily lose like 20 pounds worth of water weight, um, like about five to seven pounds worth of fat, build muscle, building muscle is not easy, but you know, like tone up and be good, right? The hard part is maintaining, especially because I want to be a nice, consistent, steady weight from 190, and I don't know when I'm going to hit that that goal, but once I hit that goal, I'm going to maintain 190 from then up until July, and that's going to be the hard part because I consume a lot of water and, you know, I feed into some cravings. I do. Sometimes I just like, I love pizza, y'all. And if I want pizza, like, I'm going to eat a pizza. Um, but yeah, so the hard part is definitely going to be maintaining the weight. But, you know, I got you on this journey with me. And I feel like I am, I got to hold myself accountable um, to this process. Because at the end of the day, I am, not only am I putting in 
the work mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. But I am putting in the work financially, y'all. You know. Um, and speaking of which, you know, I've been getting a lot of slack about what I want to do with my body. And I somewhat get it. To some extent, I get it because people don't want me to do these procedures. There's people out there who do not want me to do this because, you know, they 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 fear for my health, you know. And I get it 100% because at the end of the day, I had to sit down with the Lord and have a few conversations about that too. But this is something that I've always wanted. Like, if you know me. I've mentioned getting my arms chopped. I've mentioned getting my rose chopped. I've mentioned getting my gut chopped. I've mentioned my hang lows and wanting to get a lift plenty of times. I've been talking about this for years, like years. As I mentioned in my first video, I wanted this since I was like five, like so serious. And I finally, like I've, I've literally always put it in the universe because I knew that I was putting in the work to one day get to the point where I'll be able to have these procedures. You know, like I've put in the work, hard work. And it's not on some, oh, like I'm just expecting a surgeon to give me my dream body. No, I've put in the work at the gym. I've changed my diet. I've developed a relationship with myself, with my own body. I've grown to love and appreciate my own body and loving my body. I still realize that, you know what, there's changes that you need to make. And um, that doesn't that doesn't take away from the fact that you you love you. I love me enough to invest in my body and make those changes. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I'm. I'm still going to do the procedure. I'm still going to do the procedure at the end of the day, regardless. Um, but yeah, today we are going to talk about my, we're going to do a body reveal. And that is a huge, huge deal for me because I'm going to be sharing with y'all like a lot. Like I'm not only going to just share like the cutesy stuff, like, oh, my arms, even though mind you, like, when I was a child, I literally spent summers in long sleeve shirts, jackets, just not trying to show my arms, you know, at all. So me and my arms, we came a long, long way, a long way. But um, like, I'm gonna show you my rolls and my guts, you're gonna see stretch marks. And, you know, my hope is that you can respect my transparency because at the end of the day, it's a very vulnerable space to be in, to reveal your body like that to the world. Or not even to the world, but just to like anybody, you know? And I, I, I choose to share that with you because I know that there's somebody out there who is going through a similar experience and is in need of some type of support is in need and and who is in need of some type of guidance and I am that support system if somebody needs that or I'm that encouragement if somebody needs that. So that's what this is about. Yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the reveal. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, y'all, so I feel like I'm so far from the camera and I don't like being this far, but this is just for the sake of the reveal. Um, if you know me, you know I love wearing leggings and a crop top. So this is this is pretty much me on the regular. I'm always in leggings and a crop top. Um, I'm just going to do the side profile view. This is how I look from the side. And this is how I look from the front angle. Um, today I have it on a regular bra, so my boobs is 
looking pretty regular, but these bad boys, they like to hang low. And, um, you know, I don't mind that so much. I just don't like the fact that when I lay down, they want to just slide into the pit area. And I'm really not a fan of that. Like, I just want my drinks to stay forward when I'm on my back. So that's pretty much it. But again, as I mentioned in, in, in the first video, my boobs and my gut is really not a pressing issue for me right now. My main concerns are my arms and my rolls. So y'all have seen my arms before. They're flabby, they're really thick, loose skin. Um, I've been really working on trying to tone. You can't really see much. Yeah, you can't really see much toning, but um, yeah. I've been trying, you know, I've been trying. So I'm just trying to tone those out so that when I do get the extra skin removed, it looks flattering, right? Um, and also, I feel like having that muscle mass is going to help with the recovery. Um, now we're going to move into the rolls and the sides. So this is one side and you can just see like this side has two major rolls and you can tell that i've been losing some type of weight because now there's a gap here whereas before it was just like all closed in so we're making some type of progress and then of course there's like this back fat um in the breast area so what i want is for my doctor to remove all of this extra skin and lift it up and light bow all of this out to really reveal the curvature of my back i feel like i've always wanted just a nice smooth back and i've never had that and again i see a lot of progress and promise and potential in my body and these rolls just make me feel trapped so again same thing on this side it's really just one roll on this side with the bra fat but again once she lift up all of that light bulb all of that out it'll be nice and smooth it'll look way better than me pulling it up right now and it's important that i lose some belly weight so that when we chop off those rolls um, my stomach is gonna look harmonious with my back and this is like the biggest part y'all like this is the biggest part right here I'm about to show y'all is my belly. And mind you, this is the girl who stayed walking around with leggings and a crop top. But I can't help myself. Like, I just always wear leggings and a crop top because that's just my aesthetic. All right, y'all. So, here's my belly. I'm literally just going to take it all out. Like, here's my belly, y'all. This is my belly. And you can tell how, like relatively small my frame would be had I not had this like gut like this whole belly I just didn't have this whole belly but to be honest you know we've been rocking out for a minute and I feel like with just um some working out and proper dieting I could get this down to a comfortable to a comfortable size where I feel like I can live with it until after having children and then I'll get that I'll get that chopped off after having children but for now we're just gonna rock out because as you can see I can camouflage very well I can camouflage very well but with these rolls I can't be walking around with the crop top because everything is now exposed so that's why I feel like if I just do my arms and the rolls it'll be a good enough start for me to um, be able to walk around it, walk around in these streets and feel comfortable. We'll definitely keep you in tune. Um, so I say, stay in great spirits. Keep on loving on yourself because that's the only way to stay truly, truly happy is if you love on you. Thank you, y'all.